Oh, here we go. Turn that shit up, Malik. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, cancel. Yeah. Another episode. Yeah, Malik on the ones and twos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super one. producer Wyatt in the building. Yeah, drop that beat. Drop that beat one time, one time. Uh, yeah. It's got BT in the bizzle. In the motherfucking bizzle. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, got bright fame in the building. Uh, 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 can't find no parking, so I'm always late. Yeah, <laughs> gotta make a big plate of food to eat. I do the whole thing by myself. Yeah, they call me BT. Uh, fame on the shelf. Fame on the shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get this rap thing down one day, man. <laughs> that was, I think it's a little too late for you, bro. Yeah, hey, it's <laughs> no, never too late. No mixtapes for you. <laughs> yeah, you speak it into existence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm BG. I'm Dion Curry, and together we are. Sorry, Sorry we're, we're canceled. canceled, man. Good to see you, brother. Happy I mean, Tuesday to you, brother. Happy Tuesday to you too. You know what's great about this is we. Communicate doing text message, which is great, and things to do to show. And shout out to Malik and Wyatt for the little input they have about what to do. And I think that is great because I, mean, I love that now we're all we're all getting to be where we want to be with the show, which I think is great. And thanks right, for the people right. for shouting out and the messages, man. Thank you so much. People DMing me and everything, and it's cool because. But this is when we first. This is the only time we actually see each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. good. So we, it's a different energy, we man. We do not hang out outside of the show. And it's not because... And it's not because we don't like each other. Yeah, we love each other, man. It's just, you're busy, I'm busy, and they're kids, so... <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah, but this kid owns everything. <laughs> <laughs> he owns everything. He's writing everything down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that, uh, mm -hmm. what you said about me See, and the lotion Tuesday. and being ashy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know about being ashy. I've got black friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we gave white shit. Like, do you even know what ashy is? And he goes, yes. How about lotion? Yes, I have lotion because I need it because my skin gets dry. My dermatologist yeah. recommended Jerkins. I don't have a dermatologist. I jerk with my Jerkins. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't jerk with Jerkins? I mean, seriously. If you're not jerking with Jerkins, you're missing out. Yeah, Jerkins. That or applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> applesauce. You, you've been, I, mean, like, I was at that shitty hotel when I worked uh, last week in Greenville, South Carolina, and I thought, I don't have any lotion with me, but at the hotel they have lotion, I'll be good, right? Man. man, they didn't have no lotion. I was like, oh, man, I can't. And then I, I, I had some oil for my face. And, that, and that's, that's what I use. I was like, okay, this this would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was my moisturizer for my face. I go, okay, well, you beat off with moisturizer. Hey, man, it was the only thing I had. I mean, I wasn't gonna buy. I wasn't gonna buy some. I was like, you know, so I use a moisturizer for my face, and I, uh, yeah, I, and that's could, what, I could get old school. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that's disgusting. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know who you are anymore. You ever use? <laughs> You ever use the soap? <laughs> you have the soap from the dispenser? <laughs> you ever use the soap and you go, man, I hope I don't get in my pee hole. <laughs> and then it burns. You ever do that and you go, well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you never. Oh, thanks. I've you never you, done you that. hung me out the dry on that. Uh, no, you I, I sick let, ass. I let you walk that one by yourself. Well, okay. Well, sometimes you know you forget your lotion, and then and like I know. said, if I'm if I'm spitting. Whoa, I whoa, don't. whoa! That dog was ready to get loose. See, and that's why. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice dog. I mean, sure, but I mean, I was like, no, it's a nice dog. But that dog, that's kind of when you're jogging and you see a dog get loose. Right, and you go, uh oh, like the old school. Like you ever see somebody walking a dog like a uh, like a pit bull, and they're yanking the owner. And I used to jog, and We're I go, black. We don't fuck with people's dogs oh, like that's that. A nice bicycle. Uh, but yeah, if, <laughs> but man, yeah, but if they if that dog is loose, oh, you know it's over for you. See, I, I have this joke where I'm like, I, I want to die young because I don't want to be too old to run away from dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's dog. like my biggest fear in life. <laughs> like, oh this. shit, he's coming and he <laughs> smells my bones. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. It's, it's, it's like ain't nothing I can do about it. How, it's how it ends. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it by a poodle. I, I gotta shout the dog down. <laughs> Stop it now. Come on now. You're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, heal. I'm using all the old people words. <laughs> heal, youngster. Come on now. Watch out now. Watch, <laughs> Watch out, out now. <laughs> don't Come. bite me, please. Boy, this joker. This joker's tough. <laughs> <laughs> the old dude, they don't want to cuss. Come on, now. <laughs> that joker's tough. Ooh, Settle down now, now, young man. Settle down now. <laughs> That's a black man's way of saying mother. Look at Joker. Look at that Joker. That Joker. That, that Joker right there. Ooh, that Joker. Ooh, Ooh that Joker. Now, That's terrifying. That's a terrifying way to die. Just watching a dog eat, bite you to death. Man, my dad before the Parkinson's took over, he used to always walk, right? And he's and he said this this dog was stalking him, right? Like this, like his pet bull was stalking him, and he said he knew it. So my dad goes, okay. 
So my dad took his baseball bat, was walking, and he said the dog was like, and the dog came out, and my dad goes, that was one. That was a dog leap, and that goes, boom, and the dog went, Arr! and my dad said, after that, no problem. <laughs> he, go, he walked again, and that dog gave him no problem after that, and they called my dad the Batman. Whenever he would walk, they called my dad the Batman. <laughs> he, that dog, he waited. I am the vengeance. You know? Now, I tell that story to white people, they go, oh, my God, and I go, oh, my God, yeah. and I was going to kill my daddy. My dad's like, okay, and he waited. It, like he's there, thousand one, and that dog's like, Arr! and after that, no more problems. And All the shit we've said on the podcast, yeah. that's what's gonna get, get us canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I know we talked about cops and Wait shit. Wait a minute, he hit a dog that's with it. a baseball bat. They're done, They're unacceptable. Done. They're I done. cannot believe <laughs> we get on TV. I beer. talked about my yeah. mom getting beat last week. Nope, <laughs> we, we put up Chris, my man, what up, bro. I love that perm, <laughs> dude. That dude, that, that, that was you know, that reminds me of. Giorgio, remember Giorgio? That's, that's my dude, Chris. Man. Uh, no, that's together. dude. I like yeah. that though. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't call him Dr. No, no, Bad. No, no, no. I, I like this. No, I like this. Hair, I heard you. Yeah, but you know, but you know, you have to say this to black people because you know, well, nobody said about me. Yeah, they always think you're clowning. What did nigga say about me? Well, well, he, he, he said what? What did Joker say about me? <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, there, there youngster. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into the show. Man, I, you know what I start talking about this? We can talk about this shit all day and we'd be done. And we're like, we'd touch nothing, nothing that we planned. We, nothing. You know, nothing. What did we plan? What's first on well, the agenda? I, you know, I, I was looking through. I can't wait to show you this, uh, this police. But before we get to that fight with the police, dude, <laughs> I was reading this. It said, the former, former Florida gubernatorial candidate, Andrew Gillum, says, I don't identify as gay, but I do identify as bisexual. How is that possible? <laughs> I mean, so I'll tell you how it's possible. Oh, please do. I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> We're about to get canceled. <laughs> wait a minute. There's your answer. I hate this man so much. Our answer just that was walked. a woman. Our answer just walked. That was a woman. That was a woman, bro. <laughs> like I said, our answer <laughs> just walked by. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so he came out as bisexual because he was found in a hotel room, right. passed out from basically having a crack party with two other dudes. A cr yeah. And so he had no choice but to admit that he was uh, doing the butt. <laughs> <laughs> but shack, 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 shack. But walk in <laughs> this place, <laughs> smoking that crack. <laughs> they took pictures of this man and everything. Oh, man. I Are mean, you going to play the clip? Oh, which one? Uh, Andrew uh, Gillen? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, video uh, one, Malik. <laughs> oh, not, this, oh, this is... Oh, not, check this not out. Not that clip. We're not ready for that one. <laughs> oh, oh, I want to see this, though. <laughs> the, uh, 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 Andrew Gillum? Yeah, Andrew Gillum. Oh, Andrew Gillum first. Andrew Gillum first. Okay. Let's, let's play what he said. Oh, he, he was married? Yeah, he's, he is married. Oh, my God. Can you imagine being a woman <laughs> and knowing you're... Oh! It's Florida, man. Come on. No, that's just life. It's, it's Florida man. Bro. But yeah. <laughs> just type in Florida man. Oh man, dude, that's <laughs> terrible, man. I Lots mean, of doggies today. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I like that though in a way. But man, that's oh to be a woman and find out your man is like he's having an affair with another man. I, I feel like you gotta know. Uh, well, you know what? Here's the thing about it. I think women sometimes feel like uh, like I think block the truth. With if they think that they're gonna be in love, I mean Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, check this out. This is uh, Andrew Damn, Gilliam. Everyone believes the absolute worst about that day. At this stage, I don't have anything else to have to conceal. I, I literally got broken down to yeah, you got broken my most right. bare place. <laughs> the booty hole. a place where I wasn't even sure that I wanted to live, not because of what I had done, but because of everything that was being said about me. What was most hurtful was this belief that I was somehow living a lie you in were. my marriage and in my family. Did they know? Um, that was the most hurtful to me because... I believe we're all entitled to mistakes. Uh, a mistake? We're entitled to those mistakes without having... A mistake is drunk driving. <laughs> That's not a mistake either. Lives and validated. That's a bad plan. And I felt like the love that I have between my wife and I... And a crack pipe and two other family, dudes. But most important, the authenticity 
that I've tried to lead with uh, is, was often, all in question like this. I, I want to see an <laughs> inter- I, I wanna see an interview where he wants to just go, okay, stop. I don't believe this shit, do you? You know what I mean? Uh, look and at her. To be very <laughs> really? honest with you, when you didn't ask the question, um, you put it out there is whether or not I identify as gay. And the answer is I don't identify as gay, but I do identify as bisexual. Stop the tape. And Stop. That is so- Cut it. Cut. Oh, my God. We, you're going to wrap this interview up? <laughs> uh, Thanks for your time, Mr. Gilliam, <laughs> but uh, I smell bullshit. And uh, <laughs> coming from your butthole, it really stinks. <laughs> uh, like, get the fuck out of here. I wish she would have said that. Like, really? Come on, dude. Come Just on, man. The authenticity. How are you going to say you wanted to kill yourself because of other people talking about you and then turn around and say, I made a mistake. Nigga, what? I made a mistake? What? You... No, bro. A mistake is putting your shoe on the wrong foot. <laughs> 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 a mistake is using... Facial moisturizer to beat your dick. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't a mistake. <laughs> like, oh, that shit, wasn't a mistake had, at all. I thought they had lotion here. I made a mistake. <laughs> that wasn't a mistake. <laughs> that, that was that was my a mistake. A mistake, bro. No, you know, you know, you know who doesn't make mistakes? Who people who do drugs. Because they know going in, oh, this is probably gonna fuck up my <laughs> life. <laughs> Nobody takes drugs and is just all like, right. you know what? I'm gonna do this one time. <laughs> and, then, and then that's it. No, no I, one, no one has that ego. Perfect example. I'm not gonna mention names, but I, uh, I had a comedian buddy, and he was working with a with a big name act. And he goes, "Hey man, uh, you want to hang out tonight?" And he goes, "He goes, but I gotta tell you straight up." He goes, we're going to do some drugs, and it's probably going to be some gay shit happening tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that, and he goes, my friend was like, nah, that's cool. <laughs> he goes, See? And it's probably going to be some See? gay shit happening. I'm like, nah, that's cool, man. I mean, at least he told See, him. Now, had he said yes, he'd been I made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone. Yeah. It was against my better judgment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can no longer be your governor of Florida. <laughs> Although it would be nothing more Florida if he actually did win. Oh, my. How Florida <laughs> is redemption that? The redemption story yeah how florida <laughs> is that florida man we sh- <sighs> look man i'm not opposed to anybody living their life like the fact that he felt he needed to conceal that which is stupid yeah. like dude you like to get high and fuck dudes in the butt from time <laughs> to time okay <laughs> it's it's 2020 like it'd be funny <laughs> if his wife said uh, the only thing that hurt her was the fact that he was doing crack it'd be funny <laughs> <she'd> go, <laughs> He goes, honey, I, and you find out, really, you did crack? It's Are you not serious? the fact that you cheated. It's the fact that you, <laughs> you lied about <laughs> drugs. Why did you share them with me? <laughs> I want to get high, Craig. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what uh. they say? A couple that gets high together <laughs> plows butt together. <laughs> she holds the camera. You know what? Yeah, you never know, man. Why you, are you not fucking him in the ass like you fucked me in the ass? Ooh. Why he get the better ass than I get, man? Pass me the crack. This motherfucker boo shit. Ooh, that look on your face. Yeah, it hurts, don't it? Yeah, it hurts, don't it? Yeah. Hey, why don't you relax? Relax. Yeah. Like you tell me. Relax. Yeah, breathe. It's all about your breathing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> you want me spitting my hand like you spitting your hand? <laughs> yeah, it don't work, does it? <laughs> oh, this is a great one, man. This is right here. This is the kind of cop I respect, right here. This is why I love Twitter. I saw this yeah, on Twitter. Me too, Eric. Uh, 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 er, this is great, Eric. Here we go. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Oh, hey, boom. There you go. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my train. <laughs> I got to go. Hey, man, you know what? Honestly, I respect. That's the kind of cop you respect. He threw hands instead of bullets, right? I mean, seriously. The co- I don't know what the, I don't know what it's about, but they he threw hands. He could have easily he could have easily t- took the pussy way out, shot him in the back, and what he do? He threw hands, bro. That's the kind of cop. He goes to the hood, they go, "Yo, that's my dude right there." And they buy him a drink. This is how you know a nigga committed real crimes cuz he wanted to whoop his ass <laughs> instead of shooting. Him. <laughs> That's how you know that nigga really did it. <laughs> Motherfuckers shoot you when they ain't sure. <laughs> but when they know you get it, they just beat you. Motherfucker, I know you did it. Dude, that was, Square up. That was beautiful, man. Fight for your innocence. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. That's I like a- how he took his hat off and that was the time. He was like, oh, hat's off. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go oh. now, how great was that, though? <laughs> but that, bring, uh-oh, I gotta go. That, like the bell was like, <laughs> that was like a real fight. <laughs> bring, uh-oh, time to go. I got, I got to turn my homework. We also got a good cop, though. Okay, good. Co- well, that was a good cop. If you ask me, that was a good cop. He didn't shoot. Is that, that's a cop. Which one's the cop? Which is one's he in the, the cop? background somewhere? Is it, is it a white dude? <laughs> is it what? I don't see You'll any see. police officers. Hold on. What will you be remembered for? 
I want you to ask yourself that every uh, single He's from day. Columbus. Isn't he? Will you be remembered for the I'll times you were told huh? you couldn't I think so. and believed it? Or the times you were told that you could and achieved it? You see, a wise man once said, those who believe that they can and those who believe that they can't are both probably right. And they're so both choose right. wisely. <sighs> will your legacy be one of misery or will your story be one of hope? Columbus, yep. I remember because seeing this I dude. I believe the mere fact that I existed on this earth yeah. will one day allow someone to know that they too could lead the way and despite the circumstances that they might find themselves in, may the ups and downs of my lifeline serve as a constant reminder oh. that you grow through what you go through. So See, I'm a human just like you. I'm a human just like you. Without the right amount of rain, pop, so pop, let pop. it rain. This is how I know he's not a good cop. How? Because you're not talking to any other fucking cops. The, the people already know how to behave, fam. Like, that's what pisses me off about police officers. They think it's the people's problem. No, motherfucker, it's y'all. It's y'all. He didn't have nobody else in that motherfucker backing his ass up. Not another nigga in there with him. Well, who was, who was videotaping? Probably his wife. His wife. His wife. He was on duty. So? Well, you know how these cop wives don't have no life? <laughs> <laughs> They just be living off their husband's income, getting battered every night. Well, they do get battered, but their <laughs> income is terrible. That's why they gotta like. That's Not why. man. Some of these cops are making th six figures, bro. No, yes. as a cop, as a cop, yes, yeah, they must be wor working for the cartels. They what? Cops don't make much money. Yeah, they don't make money at the all. The low level cops don't. But the high level, because they're running. But the bad ones do. Because they're working illegally. They, they're, oh, they're so you're the, saying the system's corrupt and we should tear it down? They're helping the cartel. That's why they're making six you're figures. You're right. I mean, that's why I say there's no such thing as good cops. Oh, come on, man. That's a good cop. And the cop from, uh, and the cop from uh, um, uh, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. The one's married to a black woman. Have you found that, that dude? Look at this. That's Look at this. That's a, Look, oh, my over, God. That's horrible. A over a teacher's salary. $31,000. dollars they are 29 Oh, my. That's horrible. Hard to live off of it. Dude, how do you? No. Which, why do you think they whoop so much ass? <laughs> no, what? Yeah. You're going to get perks out the job if they ain't paying you. Believe that. That's why they all got a, uh, what, they got a stripper girlfriend on the side. <laughs> They do. They got stripper girlfriends on the side, and uh, nah, man. I just bouncers. I don't like propaganda like that. Like, really? That shit pisses me off. I love it. I and mean, when they watch them playing basketball, I love that. <laughs> oh yay, we're humans. <laughs> we're doing human things. And then they be the first ones to lie to you in court. Yeah, he was doing seventy five and a thirteen. <laughs> like, there is no thirteen. Shut your lying ass up. Man, come on. Now, I thought that was good, man. You want to step out of the car? No, I don't <laughs> want to step out of the car. He's resisting. Pop, pop. You really think that dude's gonna be that way? You really think that you don't think it's not about him? It's about the system. He walk. He may be a great dude. There I think are he is. a bunch of great dudes. Right. But guess what? When he puts on that uniform, that shit gets washed away because everybody else around him is a corrupt piece of shit. Okay. I, I so you can be I a piece of soap, a but if I, I jam you up my ass, you just shitty soap. <laughs> I agree. I agree to a point. I agree to a point. But yeah, it is a system. But. It is a system, but maybe he alone can help. Yeah. Just, he alone. Let's look up the history of every good cop who's tried to snitch and see how long they lasted on the force. Serpico. Chris Dorner. They burned that oh, nigga alive on yeah, national but, TV. Oh, because yes. he tried to go through the proper channels. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He did, yes, he did. everything the right way, yes, and they did. told him to go fuck himself. So what did he do? Yeah. He murked a bunch of people until they killed him. No, they're, they're families. They, he murked their families, which, which is what kind of mafia does it, right? They don't get the person. They get their families. They killed three innocent people, people yes. trying to kill him. Yes, they did. Those The two Mexican ladies in the mm -hmm. truck. I think somebody else. And and no one talked about that. No one said, back to blue. Blue lives matter. And and Wolf, I remember when Wolf Blitzer was like, when they caught him, Wolf Blitzer goes, okay, you think when they bring him in? I go, Wolf, they're not going to bring him in, Wolf. Bruh. He's dead. Bruh. I mean, I knew he was dead when uh, when they were after him. I go, he's dead, man. There's no way in the world. He, if he surrendered with his hands <laughs> up, he was going to get they, shot. Yeah, they, didn't, they were going to give that man their type of justice because you don't question the authority. You don't. So okay. So that being said, the, I know you saw the videotape of the uh, the cop getting shot in uh, South Central, right? You see that? Those two cops sitting in the car. Yeah. Uh -huh. How would you feel about that? It was terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't condone anybody murdering anybody yeah. for any reason whatsoever. Yeah. But no, they didn't get killed though. They didn't get killed though. They didn't get killed. They, they didn't die. No, they're not. Walk it off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Conservatives, <laughs> relax. It was terrible. Yeah. I like who's that help? 
unless that person had a, a specific vendetta against those people, why? Like, I don't. I'm not advocating death for police officers. I'm advocating for them to police themselves the way they police but us. They're not if they were shooting each other the way they were shooting unarmed black people, I guarantee you, unarmed be people. Because he, honestly. It, I mean, we, they make it look like it, 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 it's a black and white thing, but it's a power issue. Yes, there are some issues that are black and white, but it's a power issue. They do things like they rape, raped women. They do all that stuff. Exactly. But, and, they, and they've got nobody to govern them. They, I mean, they got. It's almost like We're a president. We're going to handle it internally. <laughs> yeah. That, that is. How do they not laugh after saying that shit? We'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> How do they have a straight face when they say that? We're going to, we're going to, okay, guys, stop it, please. Johnson, get in here. <laughs> God damn it. I told you to turn your camera off. You're making us look bad. Now go sit in your desk and get paid leave. Yeah, pay leave. Yeah. Matter of fact, go get me some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite videos are when the fucking police chief is drunk driving. And they're like, come on, chief. Come on. Come on, chief. C- we don't want to do this. Come on. Just just give me your keys. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> you guys are, are you assholes. <laughs> There's a video of that? There's tons of videos. Oh, let me Type see in that. drunk police chief gets Please. arrested. Oh, this is great. <laughs> That's always the oh, I do. You guys are fucking assholes. <laughs> come on, chief. We don't. We got to do this. <sighs> I don't. I don't want. I don't want to put you in handcuffs. Come on, you can sit in the front, <laughs> and the motherfuckers are negotiating you, like a. You can sit in the front. Like he's a drunk toddler. Come on. You can sit in the front. Come on, you're. Come on. I don't. <laughs> Let's see. Let's Milton, see. stop this. <laughs> a drunk police chief. There you go. I trust the authorities <laughs> now. Lake Angeles police chief failing a roadside sobriety test and arrested, <laughs> and it's at the center of the case charging Mike Farley with drunken driving. Seven Action News reporter Jim Kirchner joins us live now with I a possible these. new charge that could. His job. Where is this at? Yeah, Carolyn, the court register shows only one charge operating under the influence, not on this, possessing a handgun while under the influence. Now, the police chief up in Kego Harbor where this arrest was made tells me that was a discretionary decision by his officer out on the scene. I just called the boss, told him to do my thing. The officer had apparently been in contact with a supervisor or the chief, and he knew the man he stopped was Lake Angeles Police Chief Mike Farley. He, he had like a loaded gun in the console <laughs> next to it. Yeah, well, see the car. You have a weapon in the car. Where is it at, sir? Don't leave for it, obviously. Four roadside sobriety <laughs> tests are given. A step-by-step that shows Farley wobbly. I've had a few to drink. So <laughs> fucking what? Look at him, chief. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Arrest me? What? <laughs> <laughs> he, he was thank you, leg. He was crip walking. <laughs> he was crip walking. After flunking three tests, out comes the breathalyzer. Gotta wrap your lips around the straw. <laughs> wrap them, <Your> bitch. <laughs> are displayed. You're a point one five five. Almost twice. Oh my anymore. God! Yeah, but I ain't killed nobody yet. <laughs> During this exchange, really appreciate that. The cuffs are put on, and the chief is under arrest. Don't. Pull away from me, sir. Come on. Well, what are you going to do? Let go of me. <laughs> what are you going to do? Man, if they shot him, that would be the greatest video ever. <laughs> I would love that, obviously. I'm just saying you can't do this to me because I'm you. I'm you. Why are you doing this to me? Well, because I'm a you. I'm you. I'm you. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> That's the... <laughs> There's no black people here. What are you talking about resisting? I'm not. I'm you. Who's gonna take me home? <laughs> I'm you. Oh my god. <laughs> there are countless videos. That's not even the one that I was thinking of. There's one where the dude is like super irate. You motherfuckers gotta do this to me. I'm gonna have your badge. He's like, come on, chief. Please don't make us do this. He's like, I'm <laughs> he goes, I'm I'm really trying. I'm really trying here. That's what he told him. I'm really trying here. You motherfucker. But let us be out there. Oh, come on. 1.55. 1.5. Almost five. twice the legal limit. Dude, I, okay, I remember getting stopped in Carmel, right? Cop, <laughs> cop pulls me over, and uh, he goes, you've been drinking? And I, I actually, I did. I had a, um, 
you know me, I'm a pussy when it comes to drinking, but I had, but when I do, I, I did. I had two <laughs> mojitos, and one will get me buzzed. That's they how call much of a pussy. Two mojito. <laughs> and so I, but I think I did, I, yeah, I must have, maybe I ate before, but I was like, oh shit. So I did have mojito, I was like, uh oh. And he goes, you know, give me a breath. I was like, oh, I go, okay. And man, but also didn't have a valid driver's license. <laughs> and so he gives me, and I'm going, and I'm following this girl to go back to her house, right? I mean, it, it's, and it's about to be, I'm like, and I was about to text her, go, hey, guess what? I ain't going to give you, I ain't going to get a vitamin D tonight. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so, so she's, she's oblivious. She's ahead of me and I'm going to pull over and she's already gone. I'm like, oh my. So he goes, uh, he goes, um, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're we going we gonna to do this the, uh, the hard way. And I go, well, what does that mean? Because he goes, <laughs> tell you what, you like to spin. He goes, you've been drinking. No, he goes, all right, we're going to do this the hard way. I go, what the fuck does that mean? And he goes, and he gives me this thing. He goes, blow into it. And I didn't know what a breath about the water, so I just go, Whoo. he goes, no, put your lips around <laughs> it. I go, I literally go, Whoo. he goes, no, put your lips around it. I go, okay. And I blew into it, and he goes, he reads it, and he goes, dude, get your shit together. And he threw it in the, in, and he threw it in the parking lot and drove off. And I was like, Whew. And he, he goes, dude, get your shit together. He got mad. And he drove out going, <laughs> man, I was so nervous. I almost couldn't fuck that night. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> oh, but I did. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I got my shit together. <laughs> but that's, that is frightening, man. I mean, because, I mean, think about it. I hardly ever, ever, ever drink. But I was like, okay, me, though, it's cool. And man, the fa- yeah, there was one, but I was nervous. And, <laughs> and luckily, man, I luckily. don't know if I've told this story on this podcast, but I've told it on a couple others. Uh, I <laughs> so I got pulled over one time. I had been drinking, and I was I was probably 23, 24. I've been drinking, and I'm leaving the comedy club, and I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Like, uh, yeah, I shouldn't good. be behind this wheel, right? <laughs> and of course, <laughs> like, like I'm I'm one of those people. Like, once I get in the car, I'm good. Like. Like like, like everybody my, says, I, I'm, like, like everybody once says. I get in, the, as long as I'm not blacked out, like even if I'm drunk, if I sit down and I take off, like I'm good. Yeah. But clearly, I was swerving, <laughs> right? And it wasn't because the radio, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, so the cop pulls me over, and as he's walking to the car, I, I, when you see those red and blue lights, you're like, drunk's gone. What are you? Nobody's <laughs> drunk. What? What? Completely sober. Uh, your officer, what seems to be the issue? Was I going too fast there? So I'm just thinking to myself, I'm going to fucking jail. Oh, shit, I don't have a jail body. God damn it. Because I know, I'm like, I'm fucking drunk. Yeah. Like, I know it. And, and I got all my, like, I had my registration and my license, which was valid. Yeah. And uh, Oh, my God. I, pulled, I, I rolled the window down, and right as he goes to grab it, he gets a call. And I'm like, and he goes, hey, get home now. I got to go. Oh, my <laughs> Bruh. God. <laughs> Bruh. He gets in his car. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. This motherfucker took my buzz. God damn it. <laughs> like, I was did instantly you, sober. Did you go, thank you, Jesus? Yeah, I, I sat there for a while. I was Jesus. mad, but I was happy at the same time. Like, fuck, that was a good ass buzz. <laughs> Thank you, sweet it Jesus. Was such a good buzz. I believe in you, Jesus. But Thank damn, you. I'm not going to jail. I was because I was like, I knew you, it, that was it. Because he it. had that haircut, like he was ready to. Oh, uh, that haircut. You know, you know the haircut. Once that, once you see, you see the haircut, you go, I'm going <laughs> to jail. That fresh out of yeah. the academy yeah. cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that goddamn. Yeah, either military or bro, police. Either that, way, that police academy haircut <laughs> is your ass. <laughs> Do not let him get out of the car <laughs> with that fucking haircut, fam. I don't care if you're innocent. You that, are guilty that, when that haircut gets out the car. Fresh out of the academy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got one here, buddy. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, last license and <laughs> registration, please. Last week <laughs> they start chewing that gum. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, fucking. Oh, that's that's the you did it haircut. And those boy. guys get pussy. That's what kills me. <laughs> those guys get pussy and with the with the mustache. I love a man in uniform with the seventy stash. <laughs> With the 70 over here. There we go. The Tour de France. The Tour de France. <laughs> Tour de France. Please don't kill our ratings <laughs> any more than you did. <laughs> Man, I, I, my uncle was in town. Uh, my cousin was in town last week, right? And he and my dad used to hang tight. And, and he called me. We were talking about the 70s, right? How much they can uh, get away with. He got pulled over three times in one night. He goes, he goes I was so fucked up. He goes, so I, he, goes he left the base. I mean, he was driving. Cop goes, 
hey, man, he goes, where are you going? He goes, oh, I'm going right here. My house is right here. I'm going right here. He goes, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I should, I should take you in, but all right, I'm going to get behind you. Okay, I'm going to get behind you. Now, if you swerve or anything, you're going to jail. He goes, all right, officer, all right. He goes, he and my, uh, my, my cousin, I should have went to jail. He goes, the cop was behind him, right? And he got home, and he goes, the cop pulled off. He goes, fuck, I'm going back to the base. <laughs> he, went, he went back to the base, drank some more. As he's leaving the base, the, the uh, military police pulled him over. And he goes, man, I'm going home. Bye -bye. They let him go. And he goes, he's driving, and another cop pulls over two blocks from the house. He goes, hey, buddy. He goes, I live right there. He goes, I live right there. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, listen, I'm going to follow you to your driveway. If you deter, if you swerve at any time, he goes, you're going in. He goes, okay. <laughs> he goes, and he goes, he goes, he tell me, he goes, listen, I, she goes, I should have went to jail. He said the cop followed him. He got into his driveway, got out of the car, and that's when the cop bagged up and, and, and drove off. And he goes, three times one night. Three times one night, and he didn't go to that. That's the 70s see, for you. See, that motherfucker... He stole Amar Arbery's grace. <laughs> he stole <laughs> three, three people got killed because of him. <laughs> because three, he got off no, three times no. in one day. That's the seventies for you, man. There was no <laughs> rules in the if you went to jail in the seventies, you did some shit because you got away with seat belts were only a suggestion in the seventies, man. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you got a, you could ride in the back of a pickup truck on the side. No one gave a shit. I mean, you could kick a dog in public. No one gave a shit in the seventies. If you went to jail in the 70s, you you did some shit. You did. You know where I was in the 70s? Where? My dad's balls. Uh, you know what? <laughs> man, fuck you, man. I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying Joe to say. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is great. I like this one. I like this one. A uh, carrot is no match for a Kyle. No, this is great. Show this one. Show this one. Oh. Very nice. Watch this. Watch this. My job. No, you're not. Your job I is am to doing my job. Do we go here? My no. job is to get no. you off the campus. This is a no, place of business. That's the security's job. You're a that principal. That is my job. <laughs> I love it. Man, when I love Kyle it. meets Karen in the wild. Oh, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins when the unstoppable object? Kyle gets versus Kevin. <laughs> uh, Kyle versus Karen, Kevin. I'm sorry. No, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching people's heads explode. Man, there's nothing did you better. See the, did you see the white lady in the Verizon store? Oh, yeah. When? Which one? She, she was she, she was like, you need to leave, man. You nigga. <laughs> hey, was that the one with the black girl beat, it, beat her up? No. Okay, that was another one. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's I want to see this one. Oh, that was another one. I, I forget what. That was, I think, last year. But that, uh, this lady was talking. I think she called one of them black ladies a nigga. And, man... And we all know how that bop, went. Bop. Yeah, we all know how bop, that bop. went. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she took an ass. I love when they give them a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> a typewriter is what they had before. You, you don't know what a typewriter is. <laughs> she gave it an L. Man, it was great. These two black women. First of all, why would you say she's the two black women? And she had to run that mouth. She had to run that yap. She ran that, yeah, yeah and we all know how that went. We all know how that went. It's it, so beautiful watching Oh, isn't it? Honestly, get I, what's coming to them. When I was going down to South Carolina, right, I pulled into, like, I got off the expressway, right? Hold on for that. I pulled off the expressway. As I was, as I was uh, going to the gas station, these cops had this white dude out, and they, you know, had him up against the car, and they, did the, you know, would kick his leg. I go, and I got so much joy from that. I mean, I, honestly, I was like, oh, my God, this is beautiful. Like they had him up against the 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 uh, the, the car, they, they they did the kicking of the leg. I was like, oh my god, I don't know why. Like I was like, if I, if I could, as far as pleasure goes, it goes watching those cops rough up a white dude in front of in front of his kid, and then porn up. That's how much See? I was. And then and so I got gas, came back, and he was leaning back against his car smoking a cigarette. But they had also called another unit in, and they were searching his car, and I still was enjoying it. I was like. Good job, That's officer. Race. <laughs> I don't care. I was like, good job, officer. And I <laughs> rode off on my motorcycle. It was beautiful. Dude, I mean, I got so much Why joy. Why did from you that. get so much joy out of this man getting his ankles spread apart? I, I just did. I mean, I just I loved it. I I was like, please hit him. In front of his kid, in front of his kid, please. Why are you advocating police brutality? I, I am on a white dude. I was. I, I really <laughs> was. Terrible. It was beautiful. Yeah, I know. It's ter it is terrible. terrible. It is terrible. But I loved it. Are you pulling are uh, you yeah, do it again. I'm sorry. I got to talking to my store. Hey, there it is. Here we go. So this is the one I was talking about. How she didn't get her ass beat.
Man, I would have. Oh. See, oh, it's that, shit like that. That's when it's shit like oh, that. That's that you when you should yeah. get your yeah. ass whooped. Yeah. Where the dog go? She, she clutched her pearls. Where the dog go? The same what, woman. Didn't you have a dog? No. You just have a dog, right? That's not the same. Uh, a not different girl? all white people oh, look alike. Stop doing that. I didn't say that. that. I didn't. Ooh, I didn't say that. I did not say that. I did not say that. I just thought she was the one with the dog. No, she, she's just gonna leave her dog somewhere. Well, you yeah. know how white people love their animals. You think she's just gonna leave her dog? Maybe the apartment. Maybe the apartment making something to eat. Maybe, maybe he's like, you know, on a, oh, look, you go out and get me something, and I'll make you a nice, <laughs> well, I'll make you a, a nice quiche. <laughs> what is she saying? She's talking to us? A vegan quiche? Come back over here. Please come back. Please come back over here. <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> you like older black gentlemen? <laughs> that get all white girls confused? I don't think so. <laughs> so I look like the other one? We're not even dating yet. So I look like the other ones, huh? We're not even dating yet. Well, if we were dating, do I look like all the other ones who passed by? Do so I? So if if, <laughs> if I saw that, if I was in that store while that was popping, man, up, I, yeah, I'd have to. I, yeah, I don't man, advocate hitting women, but I would have to seriously be like, yo, lock. You know what? Yo, mob style, lock the door. Okay, you remember? In, remember in um uh, um um uh, dynamite? Uh, was it uh, black dynamite? When they, when they, and uh, he was at that pool hall, and then they go, and he's talking shit to him, and he, and he go, yeah, you better walk away, and he, all he did was go <laughs> and, and turn the sign from open to close, and they went, oh shit, <laughs> that was the greatest scene ever. But they thought they, you know, yeah, motherfucker, and he was like, all he did was take the sign and went open to close, and he turned back, and they were like, uh oh, <laughs> and he whooped their ass. I would have to, do, I would have locked the door. And it would have been done. It would have been done, bro. I mean, it'd have been done. No, don't yeah, call the police. When she first pushed her, that that was strike one. Yeah. And then she threw the little thing in her face. That was strike two. The fat ass nigger. Oh, mm. that that right there deserved a punch. Yeah, you got to, to you got to take this ass whooping. Oh, the you got to take that L, bro. I'm sorry, you Wakanda take that forever L. on that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to take that L, bro. <laughs> I'm through turning the other cheek. I'm about to stomp ass. Other bro. cheek, man. Come on, man. Seriously. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sick and of that too. Uh, oh, this. These are the type of people uh, we're dealing with. I mean, you know what's funny about these people? They took our shit and tried to turn it back on. Oh my God. Yeah, please play this. Front of the Washington County Administration Building calling for the end of America. This is borderline criminal. They are tired of not borderline. living their normal lives. No more masks. No more masks. They all look alike. <laughs> You tell them, Karen. They called for action Friday morning in St. George. Several police officers on standby as many locals called concerns about March of the Timothys. <laughs> the flu kills more than coronavirus. Others calling oh, my God. <laughs> and I kill more than anybody. <laughs> and they cannot be school <laughs> shooter <laughs> ass boy off the <laughs> news. No, <laughs> going to be taking out his classmates <laughs> next year at this time. Hey, that's the key. That's the kid didn't want to wear his mask. <laughs> Call me the flu killer. When George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe, and he died, and now we're wearing a mask. The flu. So we say, I can't breathe, but we're being forced to wear it anyway. But many say that they... Why did they bring, bring George Floyd? Bring that, bring that back. Bring that back. Run that back. Run that back. Run that back. Run that back. Yeah, like, run that back. We were laughing bitch, too hard. Bitch, what? Yeah, please play bitch, that part back. what? George Floyd said he can't breathe, but... Uh, please, okay. Right she there. might be the dumbest person when in that George state. Floyd was saying, Next I can't breathe, kill? and then he died. And now we're wearing a mask, and we say, I can't breathe, but we're being forced to wear it anyway. But many say that they... That made no sense. Jeopardize kids Jesus Christ. Demanding. They have the right to decide what to do with their children. I'll tell you another reason I hate masks. Most child molesters <laughs> Pause the video. 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 This can't be real. First of all. That's how bad this is. First of all. Let me tell you another reason why I don't <laughs> like the mask. Yes, ma'am, all. <laughs> Child molesters love them. What? 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 Who? What child molester do you know who is so happy that we're, <laughs> ma'am, all? <laughs> do the mask. Now's my season. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I got this mask on. These kids ain't never gonna find out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lure them in with the ice cream, with the mask and the ice cream, and boy, whoop. 
Ooh, I'm, I'm going to get my bomb pop, all right. <laughs> Why didn't you molest any kids today? <laughs> I can't. I, they won't let me wear my mask. <laughs> but now that it's mandated, <laughs> woo wait, I'm going to get my hands on some children. Let you me kids want to see a push-up? <laughs> <laughs> what? My I, honestly, when they edited this story, you can't tell me they weren't laughing when they were editing. When they when they edited the story, they go, "Oh, this is gold. This is comedy she gold." She said that with confidence, bro. There's no way in the world they edited this video going, <laughs> "Oh my God, did we live here." Did you get the footage? Yeah. Oh, oh, we, we got, got the, the footage. footage. <laughs> <laughs> did you get the little flu killer? No, we got the little flu killer. <laughs> the flu kills more what people than Corona, but I kill more than everyone. <laughs> Way to go, son. I'm so Satan proud of you. Satan is Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you, son. You know why they're saying that? They, you mentioned it. You got the fact they were from Utah, so they're probably all related anyway. <laughs> they did all look alike. That, 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 St. They, George, Utah. Utah. Mormons. Boom. We're all related. The masks <laughs> are for predators. Because <laughs> our molester love them. <laughs> How do you she know She said that, that from experience. Her first husband. <laughs> her first husband <laughs> was Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> he used to wear a mask like, 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 those, <laughs> like those eyes wide shut. <laughs> eyes wide shut was the first mask around. And then she remembers that. My first husband was Jeffrey Epstein. He those people love them, literally marched on their state house. Yeah. I mean, ter- and oh my God. Because they don't want to wear masks because George Floyd said he. Wh- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the logic these people come up with. Oh my God. It's a mask. We'll never get over this damn thing if you don't just do Just do it. Just Look, do man, it. The coronavirus is here like racism. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going. It has to stop somewhere. It's it has to start never going to leave. What better time than here? What better time than now? Hi, my name's the coronavirus, <laughs> and I'm going to be fucking you for a while. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Coronavirus. The coronavirus who? Coronavirus. You know who the fuck I am? I ain't going away. <laughs> the coronavirus is in you. <laughs> I am what you want me to be. This is creepy. <laughs> The coronavirus just showed up. Hey, y'all, what's going on? I know you wanted to have a good year and all, but uh, I got some news for you. (laughs) After talking it over with Kobe, uh, (laughs) I decided that I'm going to fuck the rest of this year up for you. So, uh, good luck. (laughs) Wear your mask. Like, that's going to (laughs) help. The coronavirus just be chilling on surface. Like, yeah, cover your mouth, motherfucker, but touch me. (laughs) Nobody saw this coming when they sent that airplane over here. Remember the very first happened, nobody was taking it serious. And they flew the airplane over with the people who did have it, or, or they thought they might have had it. And then the whole airplane was was uh, was all like it was like uh, American Psycho. Remember they had all the, mm-hmm. the plastic around it, and all, and the flight attendants had, had, they had the the hazmat suits on, and they didn't know if those people even had it at all. And nobody thought, "Hey, we're good. Are you serious?" And they landed and they landed that plane at the Air Force Base. They were quarantined for two weeks, and they, and we were like, "Nah, we'll be good." Man, that's when I knew we're and then done. Then you heard somebody go, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> and it was oh that. <laughs> Everybody was like, "Huh? What? It's over, it's man." It's airborne, like like in uh, the movie Outbreak when the dude was in the movie theater. Oh, yes. Everybody was like, "No," <laughs> and they and they showed the, the trajectory of that spit. And you know me, I that spit one when dude I talk. Was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So put your mask on. Is what we're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, please, people. I mean, if the mask kills you, you were meant to go. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm being serious. If the if if wearing a mask is what kills you, God said it's your time. Why is it okay? Why is it like eighty five percent? Seriously, I mean, eighty five percent of people over sixty five die from the coronavirus, right? But all the racist white dudes in my gym are still alive. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nothing kills those racist motherfuckers. I say we get a racist Robitussin. Get the get the antibodies from those dudes. Get the blood uh, blood work from those dudes, and use that as a vaccine because nothing kills them, dude. I walked in like after after the quarantine for us. I go, damn it! I was hoping at least one of them was out. No, all of them. Hi, all the treadmills. Everything. I'm Kyle, and you know what really fuels me besides my <laughs> grueling workouts? The hate in my ha- heart that I have for others, especially others that don't look like me. So if you're suffering from the coronavirus, do what I do and just hate people based on what they look like. It sure does cheer me up. I'm Kyle, and I approve this message. I got to go back to my bench press now. <laughs> How's it you're 65 you're benching 320? <laughs> because I have hate for colors. <laughs> and then, and Nothing hate. motivates weight like hate. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the truth. Those old racist white motherfuckers. I want never my die. starting position back. <laughs> Not my daughter. <laughs> Not my daughter. <laughs> Take my first wife from me. <laughs> Big cock son of a bitches. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, no, no. Already, uh, we, what, what one we missed? Which one was missed? Oh, missed, about the UFO. 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 Yeah, pull we'll the do UFO. That. We'll do that next episode. Oh, man. Are we, no, are we, we where pull, we at time-wise? Pull up the UFO. We got about five minutes. You know, we got to get... Let's get a big ass clock. So Ooh, I just I ordered one, but then it didn't work correctly, so I sent it back. So I'm I'm working on it. But. <laughs> what do you mean it didn't work it did, correctly? It just even shut off. Malik knows it shut it shut off for like one minute. We're gonna get like, a big ass clock, and we're gonna do it because I mean I I mean yeah I don't like like all of a sudden it's like over because you know we get the going. And you know, like in the beginning, black people need closure. Is what he's trying yeah. to say, motherfucker. You can't just say, "Wrap that shit up, B." Like, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even get to request our last song from the yeah. DJ. It's like we break up with a girl. You know, you still come back two weeks later. Yo, so oh, so oh, so you say I can't come up now? We will spend two years together. I can't come out. Oh, tell the other bitch to come out. Oh, come on, we can't. You know, four years later and three kids. <coughs> Here we go, Commander David Fravor. Recall the strange encounter off San Diego 16, 16 years ago? Fighter pilot says UFO he chased in 2004 committed act of war. Uh, can you not? Can you not say that? Before we know <laughs> if these motherfuckers can fight or not? <laughs> Why don't you just say he did something you ain't like? You're going to say he started some shit. Hey, how much worse can it get for us? I'm, a lot. I'm looking, it can get a <laughs> lot worse, motherfucker. I'm what like, are you talking about? Well, listen, okay, from what, from what I know from UFOs and whatever, they've been, they've been watching us, and they say if, if you watch the, uh, the uh, uh, not, not tax, but uh, them being... Uh, what, what are you trying to say? Spit it out. Um, it's it, it's increased. Since, they, since we dropped the atomic bomb on, on uh, Japan... That's when they were like, whoa. Because it's almost like alien, okay? They say they have so much, they're so far advanced that if they gave us their technology and everything, we could cure famine, we could cure poverty, we could cure disease in less than a week, okay? But, <coughs> but because of we're a hateful people, basically, basically what they're saying is because we're a hateful people, that we wouldn't use that technology for good. Like because the one percent would take it for themselves, and they wouldn't spread it out. So they're gonna. So they keeping that technology. Nigga, did you just say aliens are noble? Get the fuck out of here. No, but no, but it's the truth. No goddamn noble aliens. No, we'd help you, but you fuck yourselves. No, uh, (laughs) watch. No, watch Alien and watch Prometheus. Okay, watch all the. Yeah, they always kill us. No, watch. We show up in places we don't belong. (laughs) Watch Prometheus and watch Alien. What they're saying is, (laughs) honestly, think about what they're saying is. Terminator's not real. We would give. (laughs) We would give the Earthlings all our technology to help their. To help their planet, but but they would they wouldn't use it for the good, and so why would why should we, why should we give it to them? Because they're ignorant, and that's what they're saying. Because so, if you don't, we gonna take it, bitch. You don't know how we roll down here, nigga. <laughs> Ask Japan what happens when motherfuckers fuck with us. First of all, <laughs> Japan. First of all, we 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 didn't deserve to drop that bomb on Japan because here's Japan was listen. They was already giving up. They, they were already giving up. They were weak. They, their own people were starving, and they were gonna give up. And they, they had that uh, the peace treaty, and they, and they were gonna get. I think yeah. Russia or, or Germany talked to them. And they, listen, man, just you know, just give it up. And the United States dropped it on them anyway because they wanted to know if it worked for real, for real. And and then and to make it, I don't know if you saw this, man. When it made it so much worse was after it was all over. One of the survivors from from the bomb. Uh, there was a, there was a game show on on American TV, and they had this Japanese dude meet the pilot that dropped the bomb on him. Dude, that was the worst. I mean, honestly, they're like, hey, and he goes, we have a. Uh, Did they surprise him? Yeah, they go. And, and, I, and, I think I saw that. And they go, by the way, we have the pilot that dropped the bomb on. And, and, and I mean, and the, seriously, the, the dude. Japanese dude was like, you. Yeah, and they made him shake his hand, dude. You motherfuckers have no culture. Uh, that, that 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 made me pissed off, man. That yeah. that really pissed me we off. Grimy over here, man. America no, is grimy, no, bro. No, they're grimy. No offense to white. I mean, those motherfuckers are grimy. Cause hey, man, that's how America rolls, bro. Yeah, Speak and, and softly, but carry a big ass stick. And we wonder why countries hate us because we do shit like that, bro. Yeah, man, this is America, buddy. Listen, <laughs> I got fifty stars and thirteen straps, and if you cross that line, that ass is mine. <laughs> it rhymes, so you know it's true. <laughs> like my great great granddaddy used to say. Get out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like on, be like on a, a Monsters Ball. He always did like that nigga. Juice. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and Holly Berry was like, what? What'd you say? Remember that? Remember she bought a, 
She bought him a gift. And, she bought him a gift and everything. And she goes, and he goes, he always did like that nigga. Just she was like, what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what did you say? Come again? <laughs> hey, you know what's a funny thing about that, man? I did an informal survey on Monsters Ball. I mean, just like, hey, man, do you like the movie? Every black person hated it, and every white person said it was pretty good. Seriously, mm-hmm. an informal survey, and it was funny, man. So yeah, I, I just thought that was kind of trash. Yeah. The movie's trash. It was a good movie. Would you rather? Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life, or join in once? <laughs> to stop it? Oh, 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 my God! Oh my God! Of what course, what kind of white people shit is that? Of course, join in wants to stop it. What? I mean, seriously. No. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? what? Yeah, I'm just joking. I've I'm already joking. been in that vagina <laughs> once. I was joking. I was joking. I've I'm, already I'm been joking. in those balls once. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm about new frontiers. You Bring them on in every day. Here. Bring them <laughs> on in here. <laughs> hey, I'm about to only fans the shit out of my parents. <laughs> Believe that. Every, every Mom, day. tilt your head this way. <laughs> Dad, stop coming so fast. <laughs> I'm fucking coaching the shit out of my parents. Are you kidding me? Mama, throw it back. Throw it back, mama. Yeah. <laughs> you can end everything if you join once. Th- yeah. <laughs> you, no, once you, you know why you end uh, everything? Because you have to kill yourself after uh, Join <laughs> once. You and your dad high-fiving. Is your mom Eiffel Towering? Every day for an hour, you got to watch. I don't <laughs> for the rest no, of your No, it's just every day. Guys, okay, guys, 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 for a second, for a second. Okay, would you rather... Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, you gotta You're one. gonna watch every day, right? <laughs> you gonna watch every day. <laughs> he's, he's joining in. My mom's sexy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> My dad's got good hair. <laughs> My mom's got big titties. I'll do it. <laughs> you, you and your dad are high fiving. <laughs> she has nice titties. Don't you Hell yeah. I remember these titties back 15 years ago. <laughs> Would you rather get a paper cut between your fingers every time you touch paper or bite your tongue every time you eat something? Paper cut. Because, man, I bit my tongue when you eat. That hurts, bro. I would never touch paper again. So <laughs> I'm going to be like, yeah, let me get the paper. Yeah, paper cut. Because yeah, I would never. Smart. Like, I use plastic to pay for shit. Anyway. I hardly ever touch paper anyway. I mean, you can do stuff on your, your phone. Your arm is on paper as we speak. Yeah, so that's easy. <laughs> 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 You're literally touching paper. Paper cut. Paper cut. Paper cut. Paper cut. Would you rather always feel like you're about to sneeze but can't or have the hiccups for the rest of your life? <laughs> oh, always feel like you're about to sneeze. I'm going to go with the hiccups. Really? Yeah. No, nah, that's a, that's a, trying to talk to a girl. So you go, you go, so, trying to talk to a girl. So, uh, yeah, let me get the hiccups. At least you'll understand. After the, after the third time, she's like, this nigga bullshit. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let me get the hiccups. Yeah, so uh, I uh, want to fuck you and uh, think uh, I could uh, make you come. <laughs> you and go, let, smash? <laughs> Would you rather be able to detect any lie you hear? Yes. Or get away with any lie you tell? Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I already do. I don't have to lie great. I'm a great liar. I really am. I'm a great liar. <laughs> That's how we know you lying. <laughs> I'm a great liar. How you doing? Hey. Oh, oh. She don't like you. You just told her you're a liar. I would rather. Maybe she's a liar. You never know. Everybody's a liar. I'd rather be able to detect any lie you hear. Although, I think I do a pretty good job of that anyway, because I've been calling bullshit on Trump for four years now. That, that, that's easy. That's easy. <laughs> I think being able to detect... You know, oh, yeah. I think... Yeah, being able to detect any lie you hear. Yeah, yeah. I'll you know, be able to get away with it. wasn't for those meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Like now, a child flu I, killer. I, I, I told. <laughs> he was lying. <laughs> I took the other. Would you rather? <laughs> the flu kills more people. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Getting mows down his old second grade. <laughs> hey, I know that kid. <laughs> I remember that kid. He was on TV two years <laughs> when ago. When did it all go wrong? <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you. When I had to wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have to use sandpaper as toilet paper or have to use hot socks as eye drops? Sandpaper. E- sandpaper. I just wouldn't. Because after a while, you get used to it. You're never going to get used to hot sauce in your eye. Yeah. Your eye will never be like, meh. Yeah, you're, your asshole would be like, ah, this sucks for a while, but it, it, it would, the skin would harden but around it, your butthole. If it's 100, 120 proof uh, sandpaper, it, which is kind of a fine grade, yeah. I would, I would definitely <laughs> yeah. sand my asshole to get rid of the hair back there. Yeah, because honestly, why? Why yeah. is there why? hair in the in the crack of your out of all the places on your body? Yeah, hair just is like, so oh, sand- this is a good spot. The <laughs> show can't wait to pop up here. <laughs> so sandpaper, toilet paper. Yeah, because honestly, think about it. Then I would just change my diet. 
I go to a liquid diet. Yeah. And yeah. that way you, you would d- never get used to hot sauce. Bro, you're Yeah. When you get something in your eye, your eye immediately is like, get this, this shit out of here. Yeah. Get it out of here. Right. Like, hot sauce? Yeah, yeah. Bruh. Sandpaper. Especially if you like there's certain hot sauce. <laughs> would you rather have taste buds <laughs> on your butthole or poop through your mouth? Ugh. Taste buds in my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I sure can't wait to eat Wyatt's mom's baked ziti. <laughs> Ooh, this is good ziti. Ooh, I'm <laughs> Miss Felon put her foot off in this. <laughs> oh, Wyatt, I'm sick of your black friends coming over, <laughs> telling me what to make. <laughs> you got any lotion around here, Miss Felon? <laughs> Most people poop um, through their mouths anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh, that was good, man. That was great. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I just broke the seat, Wyatt. <laughs> oh, man, with my to... taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Another one, man. And that was another... fun, man. Oh, my God. What, These when, are when, always so fun. When is it not fun? Honestly, when is it when not? When you're checking your fantasy mode OGP. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> On my Tour de France. Damn, you can get up the mountain faster than that. <laughs> you fucking up my fantasy, man. I'm watching it the other night going, you can't get up the mountain faster. You a pro. You can't get up the mountain faster than that. Man, you suck. <laughs> is there anything worse than a sideline bike critic? <laughs> <laughs> you no know, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> just pedaling. I don't understand why he's taking so long. So you can't get up the mountain faster than that. Are you slim and shit like that? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Bro, who watches the Tour de France? I do. Religiously. Why? I go I mean I go home, I kick back in my bed and I watch that shit. Like, mm. Yeah. What my is car this? Out here. What is that? <laughs> the next picture. That's my car. It happened yesterday. Yeah, so you have the car. What the these, fuck? These dudes over here are dropping like boulders off the 12th story over here doing Yeah, and really that's your car down there? Construction. Yeah, my car was in the alley. I walked out there and there was a rock through it. Oh. And the thing is, so the police came and everything, but I got screwed because the rock wasn't inside the car. It hit and bounced off, so there's no proof that they did it. So the police were like, basically like, we can't do anything. Bullshit! And when, so we're, I, we're, wait, the, wait. The, when the police are leaving this dude, I'm sitting in my car like, this is like, just BS. And the, the cop goes, peeks through my window, goes, I hope you... I hope you uh, have a better day than you've, you're having so far. That's what he said to me. <laughs> Are you like, serious? What? Yeah. Man. I'm like, it'd be great if you take that gun <laughs> and shove, shove it, it up, up your ass, ass with no sandpaper. And taste the bullets. <laughs> taste every last one of them. I hope you see. Wait, were the rock, was the rock outside of your car? Rocks okay, so we car. so we know the the rocks didn't come from. That's horrible. And the thing is when, the, when the police left and they started the demolition, I'm getting hit with these small rocks. <laughs> I'm standing over there. That's bullshit, <laughs> man. Oh my god, dude. They should be liable for that, bro. Yeah, that those rocks didn't just show up that, out of nowhere. That's, hor- that's horrible. And police my, work. my car is covered in dust. Yeah, I just saw it. I yeah. saw it. That's horrible police work, man. All right. Ooh, that ooh. What, so what did your insurance say? We have liability, but we don't have comprehensive glasses under comprehensive. Oh, so. man, I'm so sorry. So it's just your ass, your ass. Probably, yeah. There'll still be a thing where, like, they look at, like, the pictures and everything, and maybe we get something out of them, but probably Oh, not. yeah, I would sue the fuck out of that couple. Yeah. Call You're not supposed to be dropping rocks out of windows. Or call a couple hard. That is not procedure. Call a couple hard. A boulder, like, two feet two feet wide <laughs> right on the street right now. Oh, that's, that's, that's such crap, dude. Dude, that's, that's circumstantial it's, yeah, evidence. Right. That's circumstantial evidence. If I were you, I would go and piss on every fucking... Equipment they had out there. Some, okay. some one of the homeless guys over here said he's gonna uh, like they're gonna have a picnic over there and wait <laughs> wait till a rock comes and sue them because <laughs> they said they've been get, like they've seen rocks falling. Yeah, that's week. a homeless idea if I've ever <laughs> heard one. <laughs> that's a homeless crack idea if I've ever heard one. What? I got a great idea, guys. Hey homeless. y'all, let's have a picnic where we could die. We're sure gonna make a lot of money. How you gonna go to a lawyer? Hey man, look, I ain't got no money. But look, look, look at it. Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. See my head didn't like that. It wasn't always like that. You know what happened? <laughs> Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Sir, do you have any before pictures? Of- <laughs> well, I ain't got no camera. <laughs> well, 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 no, I don't. Hey, if you give me a dollar, <laughs> I go get a camera. <laughs> if you give me a dollar, I go get this picture taken, and we can all make some money. <laughs> Sir, you need to leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking slips in the lobby. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Homeless and Homeless. <laughs> We're gonna- <laughs> Why would they name it homeless and homeless? <laughs> for the people. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyers for the people. The law offices of I'm homeless, homeless and homeless. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Our outdoor offices are near you <laughs> <laughs> at all times. At all times. At all times. What's your retainer? A dollar. <laughs> Whatever you can spare. <laughs> oh, that's fucking terrible. Okay. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> this is this is BT. I'm Deion Curry. Make sure you follow us uh, on all social media. At Sorry, sorry We're Canceled. Cancel. Instagram, Sorry We're Canceled. And uh, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Join the Facebook group at Sorry We're Canceled. And YouTube. Leave a comment on YouTube. And also, if you want to email us for any topics you want to talk about, any questions you want to talk about, email us at Sorry We're Canceled at gmail.com. And, and make I, sure you rate, review, and subscribe on all podcasts. Oh, yeah, on all, on all social media channels. Yep. So until then, I'm BT. I'm Deion Curry. And like we always say about this time, pay. pay.